In today's Counter-Strike update, they added a brand new command, CQ Netgraph Problem Show Auto. What is this and how does it work? Well, it's super simple. If you've run CQ underscore Netgraph before, you're used to seeing these weird bunch of blocks that fly across to the side. This command actually adds to that, but at least we don't need it enabled, so you don't need to enable Netgraph at all. You won't see those blocks in the top right. All you need to do is enter CQ Netgraph Problem Show Auto space one or space true to enable this brand new feature. Now you can't see the block in the top right hand corner up until my internet starts struggling. As I have a super good line, this isn't going to happen naturally. Instead, I'll run a few speed tests just to simulate bad internet. As you can see, my ping is slowly raising and eventually in the extreme top right corner, you'll see those blocks appear as before, but on top of this also some more information that is really useful. There we go, loss as well as ping. This shows us how many packets are lost being sent from our PC to the server and of course our ping. That makes it very easy to see and understand what going on. This will only appear in times of bad internet, so you don't need to worry about these blocks distracting you in normal gameplay. That CQ Netgraph command instead is only if you'd like to keep these blocks here throughout gameplay. Essentially, green and blue is good, red blocks are dropped packets or lost information, and of course, bad. The more blocks there are stacked vertically, the more that's going on on the server. Anyways, nobody really knows exactly what this means, as Valve haven't truly disclosed what it means, but this is what the community has come up with at least. Anyways, that's about it for this brand new command. It's very useful and I'd highly recommend you run it pretty much on any setup. It's not going to be distracting at all unless your internet connection drops some quality. You won't even notice that it's enabled or anything has changed. Anyways, that's about it for this super quick video. Hopefully you found this useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.